Hi there fellow guitar slingers, Josh Rogers here. This video is a tutorial for Packerbill's Canon. If you click on the description below, you'll have quick timings. Maybe you're at bar 24 and you don't want to have to scroll through the video. You can just click on that and it'll take you straight to bar 24. Just one point to note, your E string's got to tune down to D. If you like this tutorial, if you gain something from it, if you get some knowledge, if it helps you to play the guitar a little bit better or it expands your repertoire or all of the above, please give me a thumbs up. If you want the tabs and the sheet music for free, all you have to do is subscribe. So hit that subscribe button, leave a comment with some suggestions and I'll happily send that out to you. Please let me know that you've subbed because I, I don't know all the time YouTube sometimes has some problems sending those uh, notifications out. So in the comments, Leave your email and let me know that you've subbed and I'll send that music out to you with tabs immediately. The version that I'm going to be teaching you today is the standard classical version. I'm just going to run you through the chords and then we'll break it down. For me this is like just a, a basic set of chords and then there's some theme and variations on them. It's in the key of D. Let's just run through the basic chords. Even though this sounds kind of complicated, the chords are fairly simple. So we're starting off with the D chord. And then we're moving to A. B minor. F sharp minor. I've got that finger up there because that's the new position for F sharp minor. Usually you just bar it like that. But because we're down to D, I've got to adjust two frets. So... After the F sharp minor, it's back to G, then back to D, back to G, and then A. Don't worry if you're getting a little bit lost, I'm going to break all that down now. The first part, I'm going to bar my D like this, so I've got my first finger across the first three strings and my second finger on the third fret of the B string. In the music, it goes like this. So that's thumb on the D string, followed by index finger, middle finger, annular finger. Then we're going to move to the A. Same picking, but the thumb comes up to the A string, open A. Then we're going to move to the B minor. So here I'm barring the second fret, five strings only, and second finger, third fret, B string. 4th finger, 4th fret, G string, 3rd finger, 4th fret, D string. And I'm doing the same picking pattern, but now index middle annular has come up one string. Stay here on the 2nd, lift off your 2nd finger and move your 3rd finger to the 4th fret on the 6th string. And your 4th finger is going to come up to the 4th fret of the D string. Picking the 6th string and 4, 3, 2. Then 4th finger is going to move to the G on the E string. So this is a nice easy chord. 6th string and then 4, 3, 2. The next chord is back to D. So we have 2nd finger, 3rd fret, B string. 1st finger, 2nd fret, G string. And 3rd finger, 4th fret, D string. Then back to the G chord. Then A chord. And I'm doing a bar on the 2nd fret. Let's just do a quick run around of that again. next set of four bars is just a slight variation on that. Now we're picking a melodic note at the same time as the bass note. So thumb and annular together. Same D chord, then to the A chord. So it's the same idea, same principle. Thumb and annular picking together. Then to the B minor chord. Thumb and annular together, but this time the annular finger has moved to the B string. 
then to the F sharp minor chord. G chord. And here, instead of going to that D chord, we're going to this D chord here. It's very similar, just a couple of changes. So the first finger is where it was, second, uh, second fret G string, third finger, fourth fret D string, and the fourth finger on the fifth fret of the A string. And now the annular finger is picking the G string. Back to the G chord. to the A chord. So that whole sequence is this. Now the next set of four bars. We're going to be doing thumb, middle and annular together. So you can see it's gradually kind of building, the textures are becoming thicker and thicker. It started off very sparse, where the bass was kind of leading. Then it moved on to two. Now it's moving on to three. Here, if you like, you can spread or do a quick arpeggio. So that's thumb or a roll. Thumb, middle, annular. If you're one of those people that hasn't quite developed the use of this finger, then, you know, just substitute these two. Same chords. So I'm picking middle and annular together on the first two strings, plus the bass note. So it's followed by... 2nd fret on the G string, 3rd fret on the B string, and 2nd fret on the E string. Then to the A chord. Hopefully, hopefully you're following this, it's the same principle. Then to the B minor chord, and middle and annular are coming up to the next two strings. sharp minor chord then to the G major chord the D chord G chord A chord I hope you can see that the chords have stayed the same with and the sole exception being that little variation in the D chord. That one and this one. But remember, it's all in the music, all in the tabs, so don't worry about getting lost or anything like that. All you have to do is keep checking back with this video and checking with the tabs and then sheet music and you, you won't get lost. And the next four bars, the melody kind of changes to the bass, but the chords are still the same. So let's check it out. We've got uh, starting with the D chord. So we have thumb, middle and annular, followed by the third fret on the D string. Then to the A chord. So there, I'm rolling thumb on the A string, and then the first three uh, strings with IMA. And then my first finger comes off, and I pick open G. Then we're moving to the B minor chord. Now this is a little bit tricky. Here you'll see I'm not barred. I'm actually just holding this my first finger up on the second fret of the A string. And the reason is I'm going to be lifting off my third finger and letting the open D come through. Like that. So if we go from the A. Moving to the F-sharp minor, so once again it's the same block chord, and then my fourth finger 
comes off and I've barred here so it's I'm playing the second fret on the D string then moving to the G chord there's a bit of a stretch here but you know just prepare for it make sure you're using your fourth finger to do this note here on the fifth fret of the E string so that's second fret A string then we're going to the D chord which you've already seen so there I'm picking the second fret on the G string again so we go from the B minor G followed by open B then to the A again A followed by open G moving on to the next set of four bars it gets a little bit trickier here because the rhythm intensifies so up until now it's been all kind of crotchets and easy quavers now we're moving up to a lot more action happening in the melody, so we're going to be having a lot of that kind of thing. Let's start with the opening chord, D major. So you'll re hopefully you recognise this chord from before, we've got the F sharp up here. So here I've got my thumb on the open D, and index middle annular on 4, 3, 2. And I'm barring here so that I can release this finger like that and play the C sharp. So that's third fret, second fret, third fret on the B string. Then open D. Then we're going to an A chord. Open A. 2nd fret on the G string, 2nd fret on the D string, and then 4th fret on the D string. So. Then we're going to the B minor, but it is actually completely different to what we've done before that. We've got our B here on the 2nd fret of the A string, and then an open D. Pick those together. Third fret, second fret, open on the B string. So up until that point, this time we're barring the fourth fret and we're going to be playing the fourth fret on the sixth string and the sixth fret on the G string. So if we just look at the melody there, 7th fret B string, 5th fret E string, 7th fret E string, with this bass on the 4th fret here, holding during that passage. You can pick that however you like. Of course I'm using alternate picking all the time. Then we're moving to the G chord, but it's not like this G, this time we're using the 1st finger here on the 5th fret. So here we're using the first finger on the fifth fret of the E string and we're picking a G eighth fret on the B string. So here I'm going to take the bass note away, eighth fret, seventh fret, open E, then back to the eighth fret, all the while holding that bass note. Try to hold that bass note, don't be tempted to do this. You need that bass note ringing. The next chord is back to D, but we're sticking around up here. Here we have the open D and the 7th fret B string. And we're going to use an open E. 
7th fret, open E, 3rd fret, 2nd fret on the B string. Now we're back to the G chord that you're familiar with, fourth finger here. We're going to be playing the fifth fret on the E string and an open B. Then we're just going to be running down the scale. So let me just identify that part. Open B, second fret, G string, open G, and F sharp on the D string, fourth fret. Keep holding this bass note, as difficult as it may be, keep holding it. You have to, so that it sounds contiguous with what's come before. The final part, the A chord. We've got the A chord that you're used to, but we don't need the bar this time. So it's open A and first finger on the second fret of the D string. It's all happening on the D string. 2nd fret, 5th fret, 4th fret, 2nd fret, with an open A ringing. So if we go from this G up here. Now things really start to get intense, there's semi-quavers uh, entering into the mix, but all the chords, the, everything is still the same. Let me just break that down, it's still a D chord. Here's open D, and the 5th fret on the 1st string. So 5, 2nd, 3, 5. Second three. Then back to the fifth fret on the first string, but now there's an A in the bass. Followed by a run straight up the scale. Second fret G string, fourth fret G string, second fret, third fret. 2nd fret, 3rd fret on the 1st string. Then we move to the B minor. This is where things start to get uh, quite a bit more difficult. We're doing a bar on the 2nd fret. B on the 2nd fret of the A string and 2nd fret of the 1st string together. So here we're holding that bar and we're going 3rd fret, 5th fret on the B string and back to the 2nd fret on the 1st string. Then we move to this which is 4th fret on the D string and open G. Now we're at the F sharp minor, and we're going to be playing the 4th fret on the 6th string and the 2nd fret on the G string together, followed by open B, then back to the 2nd fret on the G string, open, 2nd fret, then to the 4th fret on the D string, open G, 2nd fret on G. There's a little bit in there, but it's all doable. However you pick that is up to you. Then we're moving to the G chord. We have two G's octaves apart. So G up here, and open G. So we start with the two G's, then open B, Open B, then 2nd fret on the G string, open. Followed by 4th fret and 2nd fret on the D string. Notice 
notice how I'm still holding this bass note. Always hold the bass notes. Then open D. So that seems like a lot, but it's just running scales. So let's see what we're doing there. We've got open D and an F sharp, fourth fret D string. I'm just going to take you through that quickly. Fourth fret, second fret, open, second fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, all on the same string with this running. Then we change to the G string, second fret, fourth fret. Take that from the preceding G. Back to the G. Just like it was before. So we've got the two G's and then B and then And we're going back to the B. Here we have two G's followed by open B, then A, back to open B, then 2nd fret, 3rd fret on the B string, all the while holding the bass note. Then we have another scale run, A chord this time. So here we have two octave A's, let's look at the scale, 2nd fret, 4th fret on the G string, switch to the B string, 2, 3, 5, switch to the 1st string, 2, 3, 5. So that whole passage goes a little bit like this from the G chord. Now we're back to the D chord, another one. I'm barring here. I don't really need to do a full bar, but it's just habit, so I'm doing it. There we have open D and second fret on the first string. Followed by three, five on the B string, back to the second fret on the first string and then 5-3 on the B string. So it's kind of going up and then back down. Then we're going to the A chord. Open A and 2nd fret B string. So we're going up and then down. 2nd fret, 3rd fret, 5th fret on the B string, then 2nd fret on the 1st string, and then back down. You can bar that. You can bar that if you want to, like this. Then we're at the B minor. Very similar to the B minor from the beginning of the song. Here I'm playing B in the bass and my second finger is on the third fret of the B string. So there I am doing fourth fret on the G string then I, and I lift this off. Open D, then first finger, second fret. This is a little bit strange, but here we have third finger on the fourth fret of the E string and fourth finger on the fourth fret of the D string. Play both at the same time. Then open G, then fourth finger, fourth fret of the D string, then second fret on the D string. That passage there. And it, 
finishes off with third fret, second fret, third fret on the B string. The next section to the G. So we have G in the bass and this time an open B. to the second fret on the G string and then open. Then we have open D and A on the G string. Let's take a look at the scale there. Second fret, open, fourth fret on the D, open G, second fret on the G string, fourth fret on the G string, second fret, third fret on the B string. Let's look at that together. Back to the G. Exactly like it was before, but this time the fourth note is different. Before we went to open G, but now we're going to go to the D. Here we have G in the bass, B, then 3, 2, 3. Then 2, open on the B string. Then we move to open A, and the second fret on the B string. If it seems a little bit confusing, don't worry, I'm going through quickly so that we don't have to spend too much time here. You can always cross-reference this with the tabs and the sheet music that I'll send out to you. We're almost to the end of the song. Back to the D chord. There we have D and D together. We're just running through the chord. A. B minor. sharp minor G D G A then the final chord my classical guitar teacher from years ago when I was at university used to say, Josh, if you're playing those old school kinds of sounds, at the end you can give it a little rolled arpeggio, kind of something like this. The chord there is the D chord that you've seen before. First finger, second fret G string, second finger, third fret B string, third finger, fourth fret D string. And I'm just going to roll through like that. But instead of just ending it with my annular finger there, I'm going to roll it back. Then. That's the end of the tutorial. Thanks for sticking it out with me. Once again, if you've liked what I've done, if it's helped you in some way, Please press the thumbs up, as you know, let your fingers fly.